Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel. It is Rocky and I am officially in vacation mode. So without further ado, today we are quickly gonna do a haul. You might see here in the background, uh, well maybe you can't see in the background. I do have my suitcase and I'm gonna be trying to both show you my haul and pack at the same time. Not gonna work, but still, let's get right in. To it so the this haul is a little bit different than um, some of the other hauls that I've done I usually do themed hauls whether it be you know just shirts or just bottoms or from a particular store this time I'm gonna be focusing on sort of a hodgepodge of things this is um, probably the um, I guess the result of my impulse shopping I can do that really well so <laughs> some of this is online some of this is in store but I'm gonna get right into it the first things I'm going to show you are the things that I ordered online from Macy's. You guys got a glimpse of this maybe a couple of videos ago when I announced the fact that I was breaking my um, shopping diet. And uh, this is a t-shirt. And some of the theme of, what, well, with the t-shirts and the things that I purchased with this haul for Macy's, and then the next one I'm going to show you is going to be for Nordstrom. I was going for this sort of a throwback retro kind of a feel and so you'll notice that a lot of the brands and the styles are kind of you know retro in nature so the first one is a t-shirt well all three of these from Macy's are t-shirts and this one um, speaks to what I've been telling you that I love for the, for a while now is rainbows this one is a dicky shirt um, it has a rainbow on there I love how they incorporate it both so I have the retro feel and the rainbow all in one so I am loving this um, the sleeves are a bit longer than I expected but I can always roll them up just the same way that I've done this J. Crew tee um, loving this one I'm excited to wear that this one just might end up in my suitcase the next shirt is another Dickie shirt rainbow-esque in nature so here's the other Dickie shirt this one is a little bit metallic slash iridescent but it's rainbow love that as well same cut as the other shirt so a little bit I, I love that it's short here because I think I might have mentioned to you before I do have a short to torso so less fabric for me to have to fight with I like this one as well because it also has a raw um, hem here or a raw edge so it's not stitched so that gives it that raw feel like like I cut it or something like that so that's awesome um, so I am excited to wear this one. The sleeves are a bit long, but I don't really care because I really love this logo. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this will go. I hope everything doesn't end up in the suitcase, but this is going in there too. The next item is yet another Dickies t-shirt. All right. So another one, same cut as the last. This one has a rainbow metallic iridescent thing going as well, which I really like. Again, the white is pretty cool. Has the same cut as the last one with the raw, the raw edge, the raw hem. So I'm really feeling that. So yeah, I think I am in love with these t-shirts. Um, now I'm not sure. I'm not gonna do two white Dickies shirts. So now I have to decide if I, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one because I already have the metallic. Oh. Now, all the rest of the items are bottoms, um, which I needed some. I didn't need them. I wanted some because all of most of everything else that I got in my hauls were all tops. So we're gonna do the bottoms. This one, I couldn't help but pick up. I've been hearing about A Gold E Jeans for the longest. A Gold E Jeans has been all the rage on social media and with other YouTubers. Everyone has been talking about A Gold E this, A Gold E that. And I'm like, what makes them so, so special? Why, why does everyone care about them? So I did in the past take a look at A Goldie jeans to see you know what the big deal was and I didn't even bother trying them on because they were just that expensive. They run on average $200 for a pair of their jeans. This one is, yeah, the original price here is $200 as well. But I found a pair for $23.99 <clears throat> at Nordstrom Rack. This one is um, a coated denim, so they called it Leatherette, but it's a coated denim that looks like leather from afar and uh, I would say kind of stiff <laughs> because of the coating um, so it's interesting the way that they fit they are high rise so they come up you know pretty high up to my ribs here so I really like these and maybe I'll just pop these on real quick to show you 
Okay, so I have these on and you can see, let's see if you can see just how high these are. Like this before, you know, I have this tied up so it could be cropped. And look how high they are. These are my ribs. They cover some of my ribs, right? But um, they're super high. They're a great fit. I really like these. You might remember um, I did a trunk club. Um, was it a trunk club sort of a haul sometime back and I'll, I'll pop that here um, but they put in the nicest pair of jeans they weren't a goldie I forget the brand but they were just like these and they fit fabulously I love them love them love them but again they were about $200 and I was just like I can't imagine spending that much on a pair of jeans so patience is key ladies I mean or fellas too um, patience is key if you wait long enough the thing that you love will become the price that you want and you can nab it at that point but I am loving these they're you know they're they're stiff but I still have room um, I think it's very classy classic looking um, yeah I am a fan of, of these yes I won't be packing these because the weather where I'm going is gonna be like 90s every day so 90s Fahrenheit every day so there's no way I would survive wearing leatherette pants in 90 degree weather the next item is a pair of shorts I got these from H&M they're very similar to the shorts that I started the video with with the exception of the fact that these have pockets I love pockets you guys know that and I'm sure every other woman just loves pockets we get ignored when it comes to pockets or we get pockets that are just not functional they're like this small what am I putting in there like a quarter maybe a, a you know lip balm I don't know but like I need functional pockets and you need to construct them so they're not bulky so you need to do both figure it out designers get it right so nonetheless I got these pair of shorts from um, H&M I did a whole big series on not a series but a whole big video and I'll pop it here about how I hated shorts to the very core of my being I hate shorts but then while when I did the video I discovered that um, I there are a pair of shorts or a style of shorts that are flattering for me and that's dolphin shorts so I always stick now as I'm buying these shorts I really do try to stick to dolphin shorts or pretty loose flowy fitting shorts that uh, don't accentuate the hips or thighs too much so these are those and I'll pop these on real quick all right so these are the shorts I'm not mad at them they you know good amount of air can get in here nice cut doesn't make me look padded in any way I'm not looking like I have a gut or anything the pockets are nice and smooth I am a fan of this I am definitely a fan of these shorts so yeah I think these were a good purchase and these are gonna go in the suitcase all right and the last item is a pair of shorts that I shared with you before um, I got this from White House black market and I again these are not the dolphin shorts or anything like that but these uh, but they seem to be flowy and everything like that so we're actually gonna try these on together I have not tried them on yet I'm trying to see what color they're calling this to me um, this looks like a very light blushy pink color but on the website, they only had them shown in what they, I think they called it tan or something in the tan family. This does not look tan to me in person. So I'm feeling like the website just doesn't have this color available anymore or something like that. Maybe that's why it's not listed. But it is a very, very beautiful, very delicate, very mature looking pink um, color shorts. So I'm going to try these on for you. So... I'm not mad at these. These are fairly high waisted. I guess um, that's that's what we're doing now. Pretty much everything that I'm getting now is high waisted. Um, but I don't mind that because um, in many of the cases, if the high waist is tailored correctly, it gives you the look of a you know a snatched or smaller waist because it's going up to the you know smallest point on your torso. So I don't mind it. It's just I hate it when. You know the way that it's tailored it, if it has a lot of puffing and you know pleats and things in this area and it just it just doesn't look right so I like this let's see I feel a little closer here I'm not I'm not mad at it yeah 
I don't mind it. Oh, this pocket is a bit bunched up in the back, but yeah, I'm not mad at it. I like these. I think I, I can. I think I'm gonna pack these just in case the girls want to go out. You can see the see how short they are. I think I'm gonna wear them with. I think I'm gonna do them with these, the spiked pumps. I think this is a very good look. I'm gonna do it with like a white tee and these pumps. So yeah, I'm gonna pack these shorts, these shoes. Okay, so we have a few items <clears throat> that are earmarked for my suitcase. So I have these cute little shorts we just talked about. I have um, the Sam Edelman spike pumps that's going in. So I need a white tee to go with this. So let me try to find, find one here. All right, I found one. We're gonna do this, oh, I've never worn it before. So we're gonna do this BP sort of raw, raw edge, raw hem, it's very light. I think we're gonna do this one. <clears throat> So I also need more things. Again, it's gonna be super hot. I think I'm gonna do just a few sort of throw on walk around dresses and stuff. So I have a bunch of them behind me. I have a bunch of them hanging everywhere. So I'm gonna to try to pull a few. I don't know what theme I wanna go for. Let's see what we got. I think I'm gonna throw this one in. This is a cold shoulder um, eyelet dress or eyelid or lace or whatever we want to call it. It looks like lace. Sort of an olive colored. I think I'm going to do this one. I've never worn this one before and I think I'm going to rock this. Um, I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. We'll figure that out shortly. But this one's definitely going in. I think I'm going to do um, an overshirt to go with this just in case we go out to like dinner or something like that and I don't want to be cold. So so I think I'm bringing this one. It's um, very pretty boxy, military structured. Um, it's a high low, raw, raw edge here. I think it gives it's a good juxtaposition to this. So I think I'm gonna bring this shirt along with me. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do this dress. It's long, um, tan and green. It looks like my theme here is gonna be green. <laughs> But tan and green, I am liking this one. Makes me feel like a goddess. So we're gonna do this one. I have to bring some booby tape, but yes, to this one. So what shoes, what shoes, what shoes? I'm thinking I wanna wear these um, suede leather um, rag and bone. So I, don't, I think you've seen these before. I don't know if you can get the feel for them. I think I'm gonna do these to go with pretty much everything. I'm also, I'm going to go out there with, um, I'm gonna go out there with my Birkenstock sandals, which you guys have seen before. But let me grab those so you can see what those look like. So I'm definitely gonna rock um, these. So I'm gonna put these on right now. These go with what I have on now. Um, <clears throat> what else, what else, what else? We need another dress. All right, I'm gonna do um, two more like fairly casual dresses. Um, this one is um, white with like these, um, what are these, sunflowers? Yeah, they're white with like the sunflowers, very boxy and big. So this is definitely a lounge around, I don't really care. Um, definitely goes with um, these sandals, so yes. And then lastly, I think I'm gonna do this uh, t-shirt dress. I like this dress and it definitely goes well with the Birkenstock sandals. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I am all set. I just need to put in my essentials, so my, you know, my toiletries and my overnight stuff and I think I am good to go. So thank you guys for joining me today. Um, let me know if you like any of these outfits that I packed. Let me know what you thought about the things that I hauled. But I will not see you again until, oh yeah, I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> All right, today. I'll see you today, Sunday. And then um, after that, Wednesday, whatever. So we have a ton of hauls left. Thank you for joining. Let me know your feelings, your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. It's red. It says subscribe. Hit the like button, share it with your friends. Bye.